three. Beloved creator, beloved mother, mother, father, giver of all things. Beloved, all of the beauty that is here on this beautiful, beautiful earth. Beloved creator, all of the beauty that surrounds us. As far as we can see as humans, beloved, creator of the sun, creator of the heavens, creator of all of that that exists in the heavens, the stars and the planets, beloved creator, and all of that that exists on the earth, the mountains and the valleys, beloved beauty, the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, the streams, beloved beauty, all of the animals that live in the water, all of those that walk on the earth, all of those that fly, beloved creator, all of us humans, children, newborn, teenagers, young adults, middle age, elderly, beloved beauty. We are your children, beloved creator. And on this beautiful, beautiful day in which we're honoring Mother Earth, Beloved beauty, this day should be honored every day because we as humans need to be more conscious, to be more in balance with nature. When we fall out of balance, beloved creator, this is what we have. We have the disharmony between the humans, between the animals, between the elements, beloved spirit of the sacred waters, beloved spirit of the sacred wind, beloved spirit of the sacred fire, grandfather sun, grandmother earth. We can't be far or not knowing or not understanding these sacred elements. We are made of these four sacred elements, beloved creator. And because of this, we need to honor these on a regular basis, not just once a year, but every, every single day. The disharmony that is upon us at this very, very moment is because we as humans are moving about without a second thought of how polluted the waters are, how polluted the air is, how polluted the earth is. And everything is moving about as if it was out of control. Beloved Mother, Father, you have created us. You are the heart of the heavens and the heart of the earth. Hear us. On this sacred day in which we're honoring the spirit of the earth around the globe, beloved creator, awaken the mind of the humans. Awaken the heart so that they know how to tell the difference between the good and the indifferent of what we are doing and what we have done. Beloved mother, forgive us. Forgive us that we, with our minds, we have not been thinking of all of the things that we have done around the earth, around the globe, beloved creator. We have destroyed so much, eliminated so many animals, whether they are in the water, whether they are on the land, or whether they are flying, beloved creator. So much we have destroyed, so much we just don't understand, so much we allow ourselves to just constantly, chronically destroy day after day, moment after moment, hour after hour, without a second thought. I have seen rivers become dry, I have seen animals disappear. 
I have seen so much and the concern that we don't have any more earth to grow our food. Everything is contaminated. What is the hope for the future, beloved creator? The children, the coming generations. We as women are responsible for the future generations. We are the carriers, the seed carriers of the future generations, beloved creator. We ask of you on this sacred day to help us, embrace us, guide us, protect us, illuminate us, beloved creator, that we become a circle of light around the globe, that each and every one of us accept each other, that we become a race of humans, one nation of humans, that we unify and that we do this immediately without any hesitation. Because we as humans, we have been on this path. We have been now at the crossroads. We are now facing this incredible moment in our lives. What are we going to do at this very, very moment, beloved creator? Allow us to build a new foundation for the future generations on this sacred day of the Mother Earth, beloved creator. In the name of all, of the beauty that you have created for us, Mother, Father, I thank you. In the name of the great mystery, I thank you. In the name of the grandmothers and grandfathers, I thank you. In the name of all of our ancestors, 